My name is Christine, and I have a confession to make. I like to hoard food. It's a sickness, I know. But this month, we're going to do something about it. <laughs> because today, we are going to make my one-month meal plan based on what I already have in the house with very little outside shopping. It's going to be hard because I like to shop. I see a deal and I can't say no. We all have issues. <laughs> this is my freezer. I have three freezers. This is one of the freezers. As you can see, it's full to the top. My neighbor gave me a bunch of elk meat. So I have a lot of elk meat in here and we've had raspberries and cherries <coughs> like crazy. And I've been storing all of them, which takes up a lot of room, but there's other stuff buried underneath them that I should probably start using. So let's make a plan. Shall we? Elk ribeye. Oh my gosh, a roast. Stuff you didn't know you had. Oh, I forgot that was there. Okay, the raspberries are fine, right? And the bread is fine. More raspberries. And more raspberries. Some more raspberries. <laughs> How many gallon bags is that? Catfish. Ground turkey. Cherries. Cherries. More raspberries. Uh, more cherries. This is all elk, and this is all elk. We need to eat some elk, I think. This is the most expensive elk ever. <laughs> yeah, it is. You want to tell them the story? Our friend accidentally let an elk out of an elk ranch. <laughs> so he had to buy the whole elk and kill it. You didn't even get to the bottom. No, I know. I, I got to work my way from the top. We got to look at the, in, the outside freezer also. For some reason, my husband has a problem with all of the canned food. No, I don't. Okay, maybe that's the wrong... I'm in the room. <laughs> I'm right here. Maybe that's the wrong phrasing. He doesn't have a problem with the food. He wants to use the food before it goes bad. Instead of me being like, no, if you use it, I won't have it anymore. <laughs> that sounds so stupid when I say it out loud. I know. <laughs> what am I going to do with all these? I have like 20 of them. Green bean casserole? What? Oh, oh. Not my first rodeo. Oh, I love you so much right now. <laughs> I mean, that was like pure genius right there. Genius! All I'm saying is there's a lot of stuff in there that we can't figure out what the heck it is. He doesn't label them. That looks like that onions. That looks like pickled onions. I bet you anything. Okay, we are in the garage. Okay. I've got shrimp down here. How the heck am I gonna use this? This is antelope sausage. And antelope has such a weird, Flavor. It's good in like a hash, like a breakfast hash. Done. What is that halo top down there that you've been hiding? <sighs> it's peaches and cream. <laughs> <gasps> I put it out here so you wouldn't eat it all. You already started eating it. No, I didn't. Somebody has. No, look, it's still sealed, you oh. psycho. <laughs> this is why, this is why people have eating disorders. <laughs> Because they think if they don't eat it right away, they're not going to get any. We're like, it's getting close to harvest time when we usually get lots of free stuff. I know. We've got to like, be eating I all this. Because September and October, like we get free food. Yes, like crazy. Um, okay, so we need to eat all these turkey burgers. We could just have burgers. Oh, hey, pizza. Let's have pizza for lunch today. Ribeye steak. <laughs> what kind is that one? Cookies and cream. Brother. I don't have a problem. Round steak. Potatoes. That whole bowl is cherry juice. Yeah, it's a lot of cherry juice. Yeah, and uh, inside freezer, lots of halo top. So that's good. And a lot of frozen fruit. They are gonna think we have a serious halo top problem. Look, for, look. The, for the record, we never buy halo top and I don't even know where it came from. Listen to me. I did, a, I did a grocery haul on it. It was $2 a thing. Okay. It's never that cheap. Okay. Oh, I've got these like pork steaks. I still have chicken blings. What the heck? Yeah, I saw those the other day. I, should we have those for dinner today? Because, dude, we gotta get rid of those. This one actually is not that bad. A lot of this is fruit and like frozen Let's veggies. just do a little. Look, frozen green beans from the garden. Frozen cherry juice for jelly later. And it's cherry juice all the, all the way, way back. back in there. All the way back. Okay. This is frozen pears. Those are frozen for shakes. Frozen strawberries. Shakes. Pepperoni. Bananas. I'm freezing raspberries right now. These are 
blueberry. This looks like meat. Moose ribeye. How many varieties of <laughs> animal meat do we have in here? It's a lot considering the fact that I have never killed any. He hasn't killed any of these. We have antelope, moose, and elk in our freezer. It's almost like I'm a hunter. And let me tell you what, if you look up a recipe for moose ribeye online, you're not finding much. Isn't a moose a once in a lifetime kill? In Idaho it is. In Idaho it is. And more raspberries and in the fridge. more raspberries. Okay, I can have raspberries for lunch. I got a little bit of ham right there. Meal plan creation commences now. Why do people do this? You know they do that a lot? To oh, hide the double girls. chins. That's why they do it? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm hmm I feel like it's like Amy and everybody loves Raymond. First, I need to mention that Dave will be out of town for a few days and I'm gonna be gone for an entire week. So I had to take that into consideration. Also the fact that when I cook, I cook a lot of food and we always have leftovers. Therefore, every fourth or fifth day or something like that, I put in a leftover day to just like clean out the fridge, make sure everything gets used and nothing gets wasted. By the way, can we talk, can you talk about that for a second? Do you notice the guy that won't leave the leftover thing alone on your YouTube comments? No, there's you know, more like, stuff. There's one guy that no matter what people say, he's like, leftovers are gross. You should, they're irresponsible. You shouldn't be those. Those are for, that's for poor people. Like, I'm like, yes. Okay, snobby face. It was, it's weird. Down on us because we eat leftovers. I'm like. Great. He doesn't have to watch the videos. Chill out, dude. You can go watch something else. Are there YouTube channels on like leftover haters? <laughs> <laughs> you should go watch those. Okie dokie, I will put this whole list down in the description box. I am going to try my best to record the recipes for these as I make them over the next month. Like I said, I will try my best. I will be out of town for like five days of this. And so unless Dave does it, I don't know what's gonna happen there. Okay. Tonight, hey, bag loud crinkler guy. We are enjoying the- Must make a video. Could you hand me a biscotti, please? <sighs> Give me two seconds, please. Starting with tonight, fried catfish and sides. For the love, the bag. Oh my gosh. Turkey burgers, I already have buns for that. We're gonna try out that antelope sausage hash with like potatoes and eggs. We'll see how it goes. Pizza, leftovers, the grilled elk ribeye. Elk is traditionally very, very lean, so I'm probably gonna have to marinate that in something. Lasagna, because I had put that on my list for last time and I didn't make it. Uh, pork steaks, which I have. I have this recipe for like a peach glazed pork, like sliced pork chop that's really good. I haven't made in a long time. Leftovers, uh, a ham and cheese frittata, that might be fun. Grilled chicken thighs with that green bean casserole idea. Garlic, lemon, shrimp, pasta. Leftovers, blackened catfish, probably on the grill. Uh, beef crock pot roast kind of a thing with some potatoes and whatever else I can find. Spaghetti, this is when I'm gone right here, uh, that dad can handle. Spaghetti, um, leftovers, because there's a few of those. Uh, some, some of the ground elk, like tacos. He's good at tacos. He can make paninis for everybody and then another leftovers day. And then we're looking at uh, Parmesan tilapia with like a baked rice and vegetables. Some more burgers again. Uh, Jada's sausage and artichoke. Pasta is so good. I haven't made it in a long time. So leftovers like a chef chopped salad, the moose ribeye I had showed you, and then Dave and I have our anniversary this month. 15 years, baby. So we're gonna do a date night. That will wrap up my meal plan based on what I already have. So I'm gonna end the video here and then I'm gonna go and set up my Walmart grocery pickup order for the few things that I need for probably the first half of this, just cause I don't want anything to go bad. And then we'll reevaluate in a couple weeks. Do you usually monthly meal plan or weekly meal plan? I haven't been big on the monthlies, mostly because I'm lazy. I have no good reason, truthfully. I feel like I've been so busy, I'm kind of like, uh, cereal for dinner. <laughs> Serious, I wanna clean out the freezers. I wanna use everything we have. Do you hear me, Dave? Subscribe here, see other videos here. Thanks for joining me, I'll see you next time.